morning guys it's the first of july and uh it's going to start really getting hot down here in the south so last year we had soaker hose which was just perforated hose that we had had laid out for and used for a couple of years two or three years but this year we're trying something different uh, it's more of a commercial type hose and we're going to have feeder lines i got a main line coming down through there coming down by beside the garden here and i'm going to put t's in and go off to each one each row of plants that I'm, i want watered right now i can always cut in other t's later like we've pulled our beans over here well these beans we're not going to put anything in until we put turnips in and uh, we're letting the watermelon go ahead and kind of take over and uh, so eventually we'll pull the cabbage out too we're just letting the little heads grow now that once you've cut the cabbage you you will start it will start forming little cabbages and we're we're going to grow those cut them off use them but anyway so what we're doing now up here on top i've already got my lines cut for my t lines going out to each row to row lines and then what i'll do on that is i have smaller little hose i will i will punch in a little adapter and i'll show you that as we go and then I'll add a little piece of line to go into each plant. And that should coincide with the holes that we have in our plastic. As long as we put our lines back in where they should be, uh, our planting, we should be able to use the same landscape material, the same hose, everything, year after year. So anyway, that's where we're going right now. And the first thing I'm going to do is go down here. I'm going to start at the bottom end. I'm going to put an elbow in and shoot a line down to the first row of tomatoes. You want it right up next to the wire? Yeah. You could tell them this is thin. A week ago or so, we cut this uh, plastic line and it was in a tight roll. We laid it out, stretched it out alongside the garden here figured out about what size we wanted and then we strapped it all together so the sun would relax it because when you first get it out of that roll I mean it don't want to straighten up so you need to do that before you do anything the first thing you do is, is cut this off where you want it and these come with fittings and basically you just put the fitting in there like that and then you tighten the nut down that's how you do it okay how you put these together here is you don't take this off you just loosen it to where it's caught on the threads. You push this pipe in. And then tighten it down. What I should have did is go on YouTube and watch how you put these together. Because they work just the opposite of what you would think they would. What you have to do is this T or this uh, this fitting here needs to be all the way up so you slide your fitting on and then you simply back this off 
and it tightens down on that little bulge that's in the fitting and that's it so you'd think it that you push it on and then tighten it up no it's not the way it's done you leave your fitting on push your hose on then loosen it and loosening it puts pressure against the back side of that and it holds it on there after an hour I finally got it right. I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna show you how I hook up to each port going to each plant okay this comes with a little or you can get this little fitting when you uh, when you buy all your supplies and we'll leave a link down below on where we got all this okay first all you do is take your line and punch a little hole in it these little things that you can get you can get them off of eBay you can get them anywhere come over here and you just stick it down in that hole like that then I have some of this line here and on this end I'm putting a little emitter just slide it on there then where I connected this one just slide that on the end of it like that run it over here to your plant and I'll after I get them all done I'll readjust to make sure they're all in the right place and it don't hurt to stick them underneath the plastic or your landscape material a little bit and so I'll do my next one this one here I got this time I put the emitter on this side or the uh, little fitting here It in. I'm just going to zip tie the hose to the plastic or to the line, main line. I'm not even going to cut it off, just leave it there. I'll put a couple of them down through here, and every year we will use the same system over and over. We're going to do every line, we're going to do every plant that we want watered. And I just wanted to show you the basics on hooking this up. On the far end, on the main trunk that goes all the way down to the end of the garden, we're going to put a hose adapter. And that hose adapter will be connected to a 15 pound pressure regulator on the end of the faucet. That way this stays with 15 pounds of pressure constantly. Anyway, I just wanted to show you that, and when we get ready to do um, the hookup up there, we'll show you. As you can see, this is our water source. We ran that from the house when we built, and we've got it running all the way over to the garden, and then we have lines feeding off of the main line. Got a leak. Or is it a leak? Yeah, it's a leak. The emitter isn't working. These here are adjustable emitters. And then you can turn it and just let a little out. So it's got more of a drip. And that's what I'm doing on each one of them. Setting up just the drip. So it just drips out those pretty maters. We couldn't have picked a hotter day to do this. Just look at all those tomatoes. I can't wait. 
this is one of those black creme and I'm thinking there's a BLT in our future. All right, we got the uh, tomatoes all set. And these here are little just, uh, adjustable emitters. So you can turn it up or turn it down. Uh, so we got it where to just drip out real good. Later, I'll cut in a line up here for the peppers. And then when we uh, plant turnips, I'll cut in another couple lines here. But basically, you see how it's done. It's pretty easy. Just don't do it on a hot day. <laughs> anyway, that's it for us. Glad you tuned in. Thanks for watching and all that good stuff. And uh, as always, we'll catch you later.